Okay, what we have in front of us today... Oh, and by the way, welcome to youtube.com slash farm radio. You should be watching this on the YouTube channel Farm Radio. What we're working on today, this is a phonic. Uh, someone had approached me with this and said, okay, hey, can you look at this? It blows fuses. Um... Okay, they want to use it as a PA. It's a PA system, musical instrument. Uh, how many channels? One, two, three, four, four channel? Oh, six channel. Okay. Not really a, a, a professional PA type, uh, you know, person here. But uh, anyway, this is what we have in front of us. Customer comes, says, it's blowing fuses. Can you take a look at it? Well... With this stuff, I'll I'll stop talking in a minute. But with this stuff uh, today, it it's it's just so difficult to repair some of this stuff and, and to turn a profit. So well, I'm basically doing this to to learn. I do it for my own my own intellectual pursuit, so to speak. I because everything changes. The, the manufacturing is 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 horrible because you, it's just not made to be repaired or it's not easily made to be repaired that aside we'll get back to this phonic 620 i was lucky enough to find the service manual for this thing the amplifier for it is down there and the front panel is outside uh, in the car uh, being stored because i don't need this front panel Blowing fuses. Okay, that's the good thing. It blows fuses. Hopefully when we get it running, it won't. Uh, the amplifier will be okay. We don't know that. Again, the amplifier, all surface mount components, really not repairable. And this is like a $250 machine. Uh, anyway, let me tell you where I've gotten with it this far, so far. Um... Switch mode power supply. This supplies phantom power, which is 48 volts for the um, accessories, preamps down the line, powered accessories, effects box pedals, or like I say, I'm not a musician. I'm not familiar with all of that, but I know enough about it. Um, the core of it here is blows fuses, switching power supply. And I have to tell you, since day one, I, I really can't stand these things. I, I'm learning them by default because you just have to. And this is too new to have bad capacitors. Okay, yeah, people, oh, the capacitors of bulbs are going. This is, this is too new to have that issue in my mind. So anyway, get back to the problem at hand here. Blowing fuses. There's a fuse here. I want to show you. Here the fuse is. I probably have it bypassed. I don't know where the fuse is. All right. Well, you'll have to take my word on that. Where is the fuse? Oh, the fuse is over here on the uh, the power switch. Okay. In fact, there's probably a blown fuse in there now. Okay, fuse, they tried, I, by the heck of it, tried a fuse, yes, it pops the fuse. So we have a short here. So where do we start? Well, we have the service manual, which, again, like I said, was a, that was a surprise to actually find the service manual. But it doesn't come without its share of errors, and I'll get to that in a minute. Well, what to do first? What's the culprit first? Where do I start? What do I do? Well, I check the bridge here, input capacitors. Everything seems okay. A little surge protector, a few diodes here. Check that. The switcher is right here. This is where it all takes place. A lot of it takes place anyway. And that was found to be dead short. That's right here. Oh, where is that silly thing? That's what gets the ball rolling. It's an IR, International Rectifier, G4PC50W. I think that means 50 watts. I have no clue. 
Again, I'm learning, but this is what I've learned from this. This is a switch mode power supply controller. Oh, not this. We'll get to that in a minute. What am I looking for here? That is the... This guy right here. Insulated gate bipolar transistor. It has... It's a combination and it has a crazy symbol. And this is where the learning curve comes in. This employs the best of both types of transistors. MOSFET with a gate similar to the base of a transistor and um, it employs the bipolar principles over here with a with a gate versus a base of a transistor so it, it's a it's a hybrid it's a it's a, it's a it's like a MOSFET bipolar FET whatever you want to call it so shorted replace it with a used one, I bought a used one, a pull, because I'm not spending a lot of money on this thing. So, okay, um, and there, here it is right here. Okay, that's dead shot. Put that in. It doesn't blow fuses. I see the lights dim but uh, when it's powered up. So it's got some power, but nothing's happening. So do a little more probing. I found... This diode here is shorted. This diode here is shorted. None of the other diodes are shorted. Uh, one other diode was shorted. I, I take that back. This Zener diode 7 here was shorted. Okay, Zener diode 7 is oh, somewhere around here. Oh, Zener diode 6 is there. 7... Four, five, sevens around here somewhere. Where is seven? Where is seven hiding? Right here. That one right there. That one's shorted. That comes off of the way these supplies work. What I'm learning is it gets AC. It has a little mini power supply over here, which feeds this chip, which triggers the big guy over here to get the ball rolling and then your primary secondary and everything takes over I also found D22 and 23 shorted UF 4007 similar to 1N 4007s but a lot ultra fast I guess anyway I just disconnected those for now those are right here and that's on the 48 volt line so my take was Maybe something down the line was plugged in to power a pedal or some, some effects pedal or something, and they, they shorted it out. These transistors all test good. Diodes are on. This, this section is good. The only thing shorted was these diodes. I removed those. I replaced the Zener diode that was shorted, and I still have nothing. And I took voltages over here. This plus 23 volts. Plus 23 coming out of the little power supply, I'll call it the startup crowbar I don't know what you call this I've heard all kinds of terms who knows anyway this plus 23 is like 12 volts it's it regardless of whether the rest of the circuit works I should have my 23 volts here and I did not so that leads me to this 8 pin chip here this ka 3842 bu9 this is the one that's starts the whole show has your sense your comparator it kind of like locks the thing in to what it needs on the output I gather that's what I gather so that is the switch mode power supply controller little 8 pin chip like I say there were some other transistors there I tested they were fine and again learning curve here this is our little chip that what it does is it it, it, it it starts the ball rolling. You got a little power supply here. This guy, the output directly somehow here, I'm going to trace it out. It goes over to this coil here, a couple of zeners, and gets this Q21 to go. And then it's 
it's time to go, so power up the primary and the rest is power, hopefully. Okay, so all the time, this is the fan, it's disconnected, no fan, no nothing. And what we'll throw you is, on this diagram, I'll get some focus. Here on the diagram, they have it labeled one, two, and... Th it's wrong. I had to actually draw it out. This is backwards. If you went by what this says, you, you, would, you would blow the thing up. I, I, um, one and two, I believe, is reversed on this. The schematic is incorrect, okay? The drawing is right, but the numbering, you cannot go by that, because if you did, you'd, you'd be in error. So, um, okay, so once you go through the errors in the schematic, and you find the bad components, I was able to power it up again, and I'll show you. This is an amplifier that consists of a plus and a minus supply, and where is that connector? It's right here, plus 36, minus 36. Plus 36 minus 36 to power the amplifier, and that connector is right here. We're not getting the 36 volts. Again, I was only getting like 12 on this chip that was supposed to have 23 feeding it. So I may just get some 1N 4007s. These are still disconnected. I don't care about them because we won't be using the phantom power on this. So I'm just going to double check. I have an AC cord here. I did have it fused earlier with a, an offline fuse here, offloaded fuse. But now I'm just using the, the fuse in the uh, isolation transformer to cover me. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to power this thing on. And the lights dim a little and there's my... You'll have to take my word on this. I get 55 on this side and the red side is the minus. So this thing's running. If you're watching this video, it probably will be successful. And again, you should be watching it on YouTube slash farm radio. Okay, we're going to try the amplifier down there next. Oh, and I may not have explained, again, this is the bad chip. This one right here, I've replaced. I was going to socket it, but I decided not to. And the foil on these boards is so thin, it's only good for like one, it's not even good for one replacement. The copper is so thin, it just it lifts off the board immediately. So these are defective uh, switching transistor and our defective, uh, well, whatever they called it, the controller. And I bought a spare, and there's our shorted 12-volt uh, zener. Not sure if that's the shorted one that was in there or if that one is. 12 volt, 1 watt. So that's what I replaced right there. Okay, we're going to hook this up to the amplifier and see what happens. Another silly, silly thing about the manufacturer of this is that they have the same style plugs for the inputs on the back, or outputs, whatever they are, and the high power input, the uh, plus and minus, the same connectors. And the boards aren't labeled very well. One of them is labeled, one of them is not. And they're not even labeled the same as what the, the diagram says. So there was enough labeling by process of elimination and following back that I was able to find which one is actually going to CN2 there and which one is going to... Oh, I don't know what they call the other one. It's there. Again, you'll have to take my word for that one. Um, it's, a, it's a mess of uh, nomenclature errors and schematic errors on top of it having a problem. And again, here's our amplifier. So I am certain that this is the output and this is the power input. Again, I just want to show you how poor the copper is on these boards. You just heat it up and, and I was lucky to get that chip replaced because these pads they lift right off the copper is so thin and it's the thinnest I've seen on a lot of this new stuff to mid all my controls aux in tape in I should do a um, phantom power we want off 
level. I just want to see something on the display. Okay. The cables are connected. Nothing's touching where it shouldn't be. We'll hit the power over here. It lives! Ooh, blue. Touch some of these inputs. Oh, easy. We are alive. That one's way up. Okay, we'll put some program material into this and try. Nothing? None of to the heat. Okay, as we get ready to test this thing, if you've watched the uh, other videos, uh, sampled my Boxcar Willy uh, tape here. I can't find Boxcar Willy. I don't know where he is. He's around here somewhere. So we'll have to go with weight control and personal power or we'll see what's on this uh, tape here. Play on that. Give it a minute. Power. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody in the car, so come on, let's ride to the liquor store. All right. Creating your ideal body. What you are listening to is a self-hypnosis recording. Because this tape contains powerful relaxation suggestions, you should never listen to it in an automobile or while doing anything that requires your full concentration. Oh, well, that's out. In the event of an emergency situation occurring while you are listening to this tape, you will return immediately to full conscious awakening and handle any situation Calmly, alertly, and appropriately. Please find a quiet place where you can be completely relaxed for the next half hour. Loosen any restrictive clothing and allow your body to sit or lie in a very comfortable position. I want to see some meter action. As you listen to my words, you may allow yourself to feel very peaceful and relaxed. As you enjoy this calm feeling, you may allow yourself to think of all the positive benefits you will receive as you become a slender, happier, healthier person. have a microphone but I don't have an interconnect to test it but uh, I'm pretty good with this